It's been a month since a chain reaction crash in Lake County claimed the life of a promising young nursing student. Tonight, Kimberly Roberts' family has found a way for her memory to live on in the lives of others. News Channel 5's Deborah Lee sat down with the family at their home in Painesville Township and joined us now with this update. Well, of course, the family is still dealing with their loss, but they've decided to honor Kim's memory with a scholarship in the field that she loved. The orange barrels are gone, but a cross still stands on the spot where Kimberly Roberts died when her car stopped in construction zone traffic, was rear-ended by a tractor trailer. wonder how many people in 40, 50 years would she have helped. Kim was pursuing a nursing career, the perfect job for a young woman who loved helping others. Her family hopes a nursing scholarship in her name will give someone else the chance Kimberly never had. We just thought that, you know, being as we, she was taken from us, that we would um, want somebody else to go to nursing school and be, have it, you know, be a nurse, care for people just like Kim would have done. Ironically, Kim was traveling this stretch of I-90 because she was trying to avoid construction on Route 2. And tonight, the Ohio Highway Patrol has a warning. Reduce your speed. Keep a safe distance between you and the car in front of you. And a, a good rule of thumb is one car length for every 10 miles an hour that you're traveling. Sergeant Chad Bass says charges are pending against the truck driver who hit Kimberly's car, but that doesn't erase the pain this family feels. We have no daughter, so let's, let's pass this on to help somebody else. Sure. They'll never know how many lives she would have touched had she lived a long life, but through her scholarship, her hand will still be reaching out to others. Now, there is a scholarship fundraiser tomorrow from 11 until 4 at Dino's Party Center in Willoughby. Or you can make a donation to the Kimberly Jean Roberts Nursing Scholarship Fund at any First Merit Bank. If you didn't get all of that, it is posted on our website, newsnet5.com. Deborah Lee, News Channel 5.